top five scary ghost videos caught on camera. Hanging man returns. This video comes from Ricky Eats World, which I have featured once before. A man named Ricky noticed his son behaving in a peculiar manner and talking to someone or something that wasn't there. After asking his son about it, he replied he was talking to the hanging man in the corner of the room. Elliot, what are you doing? I'm turning on the Oh, that's cool. What's that? What's that in the corner? The man's hanging. Oh, why have you drawn that? Oh really? Yeah. What does he do? Um, he annoys me at the night. Why? Because he does this. Oh really? Yeah. But I'm not allowed to tell anybody. Okay. Stop it. Hello? What are you doing? Oh really? Yeah. Right. He's crying and I keep saying stop it. Is he crying? Yeah. So this is the photo of the hanging man he's seen in the corner of his room. Elliot says that the hanging man doesn't let him sleep and keeps making banging noises in the middle of the night. Not sure if this is just a figure from his imagination or if something is indeed present. He decides to set up a security camera in the boy's room and when he goes to sleep, it captures something completely terrifying. After the first few strange and creepy occurrences, the activity seemed to stop and everything was okay. But it turns out, the peace was short-lived when on one night, Ricky hears some strange noises and comes to check on Elliot, and things take a turn for the worst. Watch closely. As Ricky enters Elliot's room, he says Elliot was just stood there staring up in the corner of the room as if he wasn't really awake and trapped in some sort of trance. He then snaps out of it when he is tapped and says the hanging man is back. And just at this moment, we hear a creepy unexplained laugh. After this, Ricky felt extremely worried for his son and decided to send him to live with family for a few days until he can arrange for a paranormal team to come over and investigate the house. Unfortunately, from this day onwards, the creepy paranormal events in the house would resume and the next night Ricky would capture something absolutely chilling. It's just me, it's 3am, I'm looking in a mirror. If there's anybody here, can you please make The next day he hears more creepy sounds, but this time during the day. So it's only me home, um, and I swear to God there is whirling coming from the cupboard. Hello? Hello? Oh, where's the light? What do you think? The light isn't working. Um. Oh. 
Hello? After checking the cupboard, he finds nothing that could be responsible for the disturbing sounds. But on another night, while sleeping, he is woken up amidst the night. And this is what he captures. A strange noise wakes him up and prompts him to get out of bed and go check it out. Upon reaching the bathroom, an unexpected growl scares him away. The next day doesn't turn out any better. So it's the middle of the night and there's a wailing coming from the bathroom. Everybody's asleep. With each and every passing day, the presence of this hanging man entity seems to grow stronger. And the very next night, it becomes even more terrifying. Hello. So this is nine o'clock at night. Not even that late, and I'm hearing something. And then, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. Later that same night when he went to sleep, he was woken up abruptly by something unseen. Watch closely. One day while Ricky was downstairs making dinner, his son Elliot was upstairs playing just a few days after he returned back to the house and he saw something undeniably chilling. I sit by myself talking to the moon. A creepy figure appears to be watching the boy from behind the sheets and as it becomes clearer, many viewers notice that it doesn't seem to have any legs and is standing on its arms, which appear to be very long and maybe this is why the entity is always hanging, but others think it could have just been someone behind the sheets. So what do you think? Is the hanging man a real ghost caught on camera or is it? Just an intricate ruse. You judge. Abandoned church. A man named Pablo Dozdo decided to go and explore some mountains in a remote area located somewhere around Cordoba, Argentina. The man brings his dog Draco with him and as they explore they come across an abandoned church and upon entering Pablo and his dog quickly notice something ain't right. Take a look. Bueno, por fin encontramos la iglesia con mi colega Draco. Abandonada por los jesuitas. Y bueno, vamos a ver si es verdad el mito que está embrujado. Draco. Y no lo que es. Del medio del monte, ¿qué pasó? Vamos por acá. Ah.
Vâng Wow Cái cây này thì nè Cây ra cô Cây ra Tenemos una escalera. Sí, definitivamente se nota que era. Bueno, es muy baja la entrada. Draco, vení. Bueno, definitivamente no quiere entrar. Es por algo. Vení, Draco. Realmente me siento como bastante acelerado el pulso. Hay una energía definitivamente fuerte. Draco, vení, el mesito. Vení, entra. Eso. No, 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 no. Bueno, me voy acá. Me voy acá. Me voy acá porque no me estoy empezando a sentir bien. As they enter the abandoned church, Pablo quickly notices his pulse racing and mentions that there is a strong energy to the place. And his dog Draco starts breathing erratically the moment they enter and seems to be terrified to go beyond a certain point. And the moment he finally gathers the courage to walk through, he is instantly scared and goes back. Right at the same time an odd flash of light can be seen. They say dogs and other animals possess the ability to see and sense things beyond what humans can. So just what exactly was lurking inside this abandoned church that frightened the dog and scared Pablo so much. Let me know what you think. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over to Depths of Despair Business at gmail.com. Watching over you. A woman named Joanna has a baby monitor set up to watch her baby while the baby is in her crib to make sure she is safe and monitored at all times like most mothers do. However, one day Joanna noticed something unexplainable captured on the baby monitor that she couldn't see with the naked eye. Watch closely. Okay, okay, okay. That's not possible. Is that the light? What the fuck is that? What is that? What is it? Look at the way, look. It's lingering. Is it the light outside? Like, what is happening right now? There's no other light. How is this possible? Like, the, there's no pinhole empty. Like, the curtains, I pulled the curtains closed. You guys, what the fuck is this? And it's not leaving. It's getting near her. Oh my God. Did she just, did she just touch it? Where did it go? She moved her child from the crib and closed the door and made sure there was no objects reflecting light and the curtains itself were closed, yet the orb remained to be seen on the baby monitor. Um, are you, you're not here to hurt us, right? Doesn't seem like you are. Um, you're hovering there though. I can, I can see that you, you're hovering. Hi. Okay. Um, there's clearly no light. There's no light. There's, see what I mean? Okay. Um, hi. You're getting close to my side now. Um, okay. Hi. Back to the crib, Evelyn. Just let the light in and see what I mean. See what I mean? We can hear the shakiness in her voice as she has never experienced such a phenomenon. So it's natural to be scared 
and even after the curtain is opened and the light enters the room, the strange glowing orb can still be seen. Even though the crib is now empty, the orb remains hovering around it, lingering there as if looking for the child. The orb returned for a few days and seemed to be fixated on the child, circling her around the crib over and over again, and the child appeared to be unbothered by its presence. Many viewers suggested that it was a guardian angel or a friendly spirit watching over the child, but others said that you shouldn't show fear or interact with it. Fortunately, it disappeared after a few days and never returned. So did Joanna capture a friendly spirit on camera or something else entirely? Once again, you judge. Tragic fate. Over in the Philippines, a couple moved into an apartment, which eventually turned out to be a bad decision. Not long after moving in, the couple would notice their dog repeatedly barking at the front door when nobody was there. And on some days when the woman was alone and her partner was out at work, she would hear knocking at the door, as if there was a visitor seeking to be invited inside. But that is just the beginning of things as it quickly got worse. She often hears voices coming from the hallway, but every time she looks through the peephole on her door, she would see nobody around and couldn't explain where these sounds were coming from. On the same floor there was one other apartment that had been left vacant for a long time, but the family didn't know why. But since they were the only ones living on this floor, there should be nobody else around so how could these noises be heard? On one night she hears a little girl in the hallway and notices her door handle rapidly shaking by itself, as if something or someone was trying to open it. Just a few seconds later she hears shouting coming from the hallway, but sees nobody there. Terrified and confused she decides to record this event. This is what she captured. and she hasn't been able to sleep much because of the disturbing sounds she has been hearing. Well, late one night again she is attempting to get some sleep, when a loud sudden noise right outside her door wakes her up abruptly. Terrified, she instantly hops out of bed and starts to record. What she captures is utterly horrifying. <coughs> sounds like a woman and a child screaming and crying out of torment can be heard, along with some bangs on the walls of the hallway. She quickly alerts her husband along with the security of the apartment complex, demanding that he watch the video and find out what's going on. The woman shows him the footage and the security guard begins to tremble, while starting to explain that on this very day 12 years ago, a woman along with her seven-year-old daughter met their demise to a tragic fate in the other apartment on the same floor. It was believed that the prime suspect was the father who took their lives and escaped, never being caught till this day, and for that very reason the other apartment remained vacant for years. Many people believed that the poor girl and her mother's spirit are bound to the apartment destined to suffer the same tragic fate for all eternity, until the man responsible is brought to justice. Maybe then will they be able to rest in peace. The New Home 
The next video comes from the Southern Haunts, formerly known as Michael and Heather, which we have featured before. For those who don't know, they decided to try out the Ouija board one day, and ever since then they had been experiencing some creepy paranormal activity inside their home, which went on for quite a while before the activity seemingly stopped. Well, just recently they have moved into a new home, and they have started to experience the activity once again. On one night they hear some strange noises around the house, and decide to check it out. Take a look. Hey, John, no. so, Nothing here. What sounds like a ping pong ball, along with some bangs, can be heard coming from around the house. But when he goes to check, he finds nothing there. Hopefully, we'll get some more updates on the house soon. But whether this is real or not, I leave the final judgment to you. That's all for today, guys. But if you like this video, subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you never miss an upload. And with that being said, you can follow the original Depths of Despair on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. See you next time, guys.